Sean Clement here from Wisdom and Golf on location at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center in Richmond Hill, Ontario. And I got a couple of tips for you today on lag and head position. And we're gonna really, we've done a, a nice fine tuning with the head as far as its tilt and its pre-rotation. And you guys are really gonna love this. Boil it down to something very simple. So first and foremost, let's start with a little bit of lag. And I got this amazing new little toss that's gonna help you throw the club better. So it's, um, for those of you who have issues with throwing the club and you tend to throw it behind you, this is what you wanna start with. Little tomahawk throw, okay? So you get set up, point, your, point the toe of the club towards your target where the net is. Set up right here, you feel that nice hinge on that anatomical snuff box. You already feel a nice support. And just go ahead and toss it into the net. So you notice how the lag was maintained all the way out there. And I'm sure Matt will have a nice slow motion capture for you on that. So after you've done a couple of throws this way, what you want to do is throw it from underneath. So now your attention is at the target. You've got your knife. Throw it into your target and you'll find it very easy with one hand with a nice little toss like this to get that action going. And if you put it on video, you'll realize, oh my gosh, boy, do I have a, a lot of nice lag going on there. But what you can also do for those of you, and you'll notice that if you're left hand dominant playing right handed golf, you can do it with the left hand as well. This is not my dominant hand. I'm going to go ahead and do it with my left side. Same spot, beautiful throw. So I felt how the club head was lagging behind my second pendulum, if you go to my two pendulum swing, and it just released around the second pendulum. It was very instinctive for me to release the club right there. So if you're, if you're left hand dominant, go ahead and do it with your right hand. I'll just turn around this way and do it with my left hand, even though it's not my dominant hand. You gotta feel it with both sides. Then, once you're comfortable with those particular tosses, we can go ahead and toss the club with both hands on the club. You remember my throwing the club video. Now we've got this beautiful throw. Notice at the end of my swing, my head is tilted and turned back, and I feel like my whole body is cleared. You notice how my hips are fully cleared, my belt buckle's facing the target, the weight's on the inside of my forward foot, and there's no sign of any chicken wings going on here. It's full extension way out toward the target. Once you felt that, throwing the club and releasing it towards the target, you'll notice your hands are gonna stop here. That's when centrifugal force takes over with the club and the club is pulled in a straight line toward the target. If you throw it and don't let go, that's when the club deploys here and then the right hand will turn over the left hand, complete the rotation of that snap, and then wrap around your body and pull you to that nice finish. You'll feel like your head now has to leave its position and come to the finish here out of pure self-preservation, okay? So the head position is extremely critical to get that particular throw to the target. So I'm gonna show you the 2020 technique, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna get my wedge here. And you'll, you'll notice that a lot of my students, actually I had a student last night, uh, Faraz was having an issue with, you know, he, he tend to hit his wedges a little gougy, and his head was really not tilted at a dress, and because we were doing some three-quarter shots, it didn't have the chance to fully turn into the backswing and allow him to finish his backswing, and he was gouging his contact. So we set up, play the ball of hair back of center, get behind the ball, and I'm going to turn the head 20 degrees so that I can finish my backswing, but then I need to tilt the head 20 degrees as well, so it'll feel like you got some water running out of your right ear, or if you're you know, if you're a gal and you got these pendant earrings on, you, when you tilt the head properly, you feel 
the other, the first earring leaning against your cheek and the second one hanging from the ear. And if you feel that you're bumping yourself with the, the trailing earring, you know you've lost that tilt, okay? So we got 20, 20. Now I feel the weight of my arm club unit and I'm gonna get ready to throw it toward the target. And I get this beautiful, crisp contact across that turf. And that's where you're going to get amazing spin and control off your clubs because the proper tilt de-lofts the club properly through impact. And that's what gives you the ultimate angle of attack. So if I tilt forward, now the planet is in my way. I have to release early because I'm way out in front of the ball. As I release early, I'm adding loft to the club. So I get deep gougy divots and very high ball flights. They don't go very well together, okay? I want turn tilt. Now when I'm coming in, I'm throwing the club to the target. Here's in slow motion. Throwing to the target. Throwing to the target. Throwing to the target. See how my hands are leading now? Now gravity is grabbing a hold of that club and pulling hard on the club head, there's impact. So my weight is on that forward foot. My rib cage and pelvis is open to the target. My hands are leading into the shot. There's that beautiful lag. So now the ball compresses against the face of the club, rides a little bit on the club face, and then releases from it. So I am collecting the ball here, releasing it there. That's why it's a throw. So for all you hockey players out there, it's the same thing. My focus is on upper right corner of the net. I'm collecting the puck here, releasing the puck there. My eyes are on the puck, but my attention's out there toward the target. And I've got the feel of that wrist shot release you know, the wrist shot and the slap shot feel very different, but I'm still collecting here, releasing there regardless. So here it is one more time. 20-20. My attention's on the target. I feel the weight of my tomahawk. Throw it out into my picture. You notice how my finish is just awesome, isn't it? So enjoy that. We'll see you in the next video.